Hello everyone, I'm out there again uh, at the land of the swallows. I'm pretty much a, a junkie when it comes to this. Uh, I try to capture some great photos uh, while they are touching the water, drinking and bathing. Uh, it's very important for me, especially now at the end of the summer when they can begin any minute, so you don't know which day is the last one. They will soon start their journey to Africa, so you know, I maybe have a few days left to take photos of them. And uh, let's see how it goes. So after checking in from that stream side, I didn't really have a lot of success. And uh, I only had this house martin that was sharp and uh, this series of, the, of this barn swallow as it was flying across the stream and with it across my frame, my lens. And uh, if you look at closely, uh, its pouch is full of water because it was drinking. Uh, so I was really happy with it because I didn't really have these kind of pictures of them. Uh, since the Svelos weren't really in the mood, uh, I decided to change my location. Uh, I went to the I went to a lake that I knew and uh, I had some success in it. Uh, so when I was approaching the lake, uh, I saw this uh, common buzzard. It's, it's a very common bird in Hungary, it's not a big deal, but I was still happy to, to capture this in flight. As I was approaching the lake, a beautiful, beautiful purple heron uh, was flying away when it noticed me. And uh, it was in the grass, was probably hunting for something, and the autofocus managed to coat it in time. And uh, I was really happy because it is a very scary bird, and I've never taken this close of a picture of it, uh, not nearly. Uh, so yeah, I was, I was pretty lucky with it. Uh, when I got to the actual lake, uh, I noticed that uh, here are also some swallows, but it's much more difficult to, to capture them because the lake is big and uh, I have no way of predicting uh, where they will land on the water and stuff. So I really have to pan with uh, the lens and and uh, trying to catch it in the act, you know, but it's very difficult for the camera, for me. Uh, there is quite a bit of distance involved, so it's, it's much more difficult. I tried my best, uh, but uh, I, I never really had a close picture of them, but since the lights were really beautiful as the the trees were filtering it. Uh, I, I really liked these pictures with the reflections and all. Mm. And this one was even quite sharp and quite close. I actually didn't have a lot of success after that, uh, so I decided to take some pictures of dragonflies. And I found this uh, beautiful lesser emperor. But then I thought to myself that I really should try to get a picture of it while it is in flight. You know, it's a very difficult task, task for me and for the autofocus because it's, it's really small. But uh, I was trying, trying it for like 10 minutes and uh, I did manage to, to capture this photo. I think I will be able to do better than this. The birds were pretty much hiding, probably due to the the high temperature, you know. They, they were in the reeds and in the bushes and stuff. And uh, the birds of the water were on the other side of the lake, so I... And it's, it's a big lake, so I, I 
I couldn't really reach them. But I was really looking at the reeds close to me for a long time uh, so that maybe I can spot something that's moving there and and I actually spotted a bird that I've never seen before, I never captured before. It's not very rare but I am very rarely near reeds and this is a specific reed bird. Uh, it's a sedge warbler, I had to look it up. Uh, it was jumping so quickly uh, in between the reeds that it was really difficult to capture it. Its eyes is a little bit in the in the height, but I, I was still happy because it's quite sharp pictures and I never had them of it, so it's a new species for me, which is which is great. So due to the low power of the battery and uh, that I really had to catch a specific bus, I finished the session and. At least I thought I was, and as I was walking towards the bus station, uh, there is this little stream coming from the lake, and I was walking by it, and suddenly a uh, common buzzard was just jumping out of the reeds uh, from, I don't know, five or six meters from me. I was so scared and uh, obviously the buzzard was too, so I didn't really had the time to capture the moment when it was rushing out of the reeds, but as it was flying away I managed to capture a really close picture of it that I never had uh, because I don't know, they never let me that close, uh, but it was really sharp, I mean, its eyes were glowing, it, I think it's beautiful. So that was it for today, I hope you liked the photos and the video and uh, I will probably see you tomorrow as I'm going out like every day, at least at the end of the summer, so yeah, have a nice day.